What's up, YouTube? Mikey in the corner. Welcome, welcome back to the series, guys. Welcome back to the Madden 17 franchise mode with the Cleveland Browns and Nicholas Michaels professional career we are coming off of two consecutive wins first over the eagles in week one and then baltimore ravens in week two both of them were defensive matchups although we definitely did have some you know some 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 shining light coming from our offense towards the end of the game last week uh so definitely uh you know we definitely had some stuff from last week that we can build upon this week um just to show you guys here, so we have two of our players are ready to start negotiating their contracts. I don't know if I'm ready to negotiate right now but we'll see what the you know we'll see who where what and why who, who the hell's looking to start negotiation uh, week five. So, Raheem Moore. No, Raheem. Excuse me, Raheem Moore Senior. Free safety, and then Mingo. We definitely like Mingo. Uh, he wants. Mm, he wants a. He wants a twenty-one million dollar contract for four years. I definitely don't think you've played up to that point yet, guy. Um, you know, come up, step, step your game up a little bit, make some plays, and then we'll talk. I'm definitely not ready to negotiate with any of these punks as of yet. They've not. Uh, they've not showed improved enough. It's you know we're only on week three here. So, today we're taking on the Miami Dolphins. Uh, please do keep in mind our starting our starting star cornerback or our number one cornerback Joe Hayden is out right now with a broken rib injury for about five weeks. So we probably have about another four four weeks or so left on you know with 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 him being out. So our backfield has taken a small little hit, but I definitely do think the players that we have uh, you know as a whole for our defense can definitely hold up without Joe Hayden back there. Um, and actually, depending on how we perform, I may even be looking to trade Joe uh, Joe Hayden for uh, some you know some more potential pass uh, pass rush because you know as long as. As long as you got some speed in the backfield, you don't really need. In my the way I look at it now, in, in, now granted, I'm not talking about necessarily in real life. I'm kind of talking more about Madden. But as long as you have some speed in the backfield, you don't really need any star name cornerbacks. You just need some cornerbacks that have some speed, have some awareness. Um, and, and and you know if they're if they're speedy cornerbacks, um, you can pretty much work with whoever it may be, whether a big name cornerback or no name cornerback. I'd rather have a no name cornerback with some speed than a guy like Darrell Rivas, who's you know getting a little older and his speed rating isn't as as high as it has been in previous years. Um, you know because that's the number one formula for you getting burnt in this game. You know if, if you're if you're more than three or four points off on speed your cornerback's gonna get burned consecutively if you try to go out there in a man coverage type of situation so but here we go guys uh go get yourself up to date in the series if you haven't already we are starting this game off over in miami looks hot as hell looks humid as hell looks all musty and stuff like it might have just rained like a tropical rain type of situation over here in miami let's hope the ball ain't slick they got their roof open so we kick off the ball number 26 brings the ball out to the 24 yard line miami's gonna be coming out to the field for the first time today our defense is gonna be coming out to the field for the first time today ryan Tannehill, not really a big fan i don't i think this man's highly overpaid Zero production in the last few years that he's been playing over in, in Miami. Zero playoff games. Zero playoff berths. Zero playoff wins. Consecutive crappy losing seasons. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. Cyrus Jones, come through in the clutch for us. Cyrus Jones steps up and makes the tackle because my first defender over there just completely got burned and miss, missed his step and just tackled. I just I just hit that tackle button way too early there, guys. That was, a, that was not a good look. Arian Foster. Look at him. Number 24 just slips right on his ass. Goes for the tackle too early. Arian Foster puts a little finesse move on him. Just couldn't make it happen there. But thankfully, Cyrus Jones steps up. He's able to put his speed into play like I was telling you guys. You guys, speed kills. You need some speed in the backfield. You always need some speed in the backfield. Oh, I took the, I took the bait on the play action. Oh, my God. He fooled me. I probably, oh, my God. Miami just trailed right up the field in two plays. Their first drive, they score on my defense. I'm over here prodding myself, talking about that we're building like a, de a defensive heavy Browns team over here. And the Miami, Miami Dolphins just made me look like a, like a high school defense. OMG, not a good look. We definitely have to redeem ourselves for that one. That was the most realistic play action play I've seen. I don't think I've taken a bait that heavy ever on a play action in Madden. That literally looked like he handed the ball off. I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. That was that was that was halfway embarrassing right there, guys. So we're gonna, we're gonna be bringing out the ball here. Let me see. Mostert. Oh, can he burn somebody in the backfield? No. Brings it out to the 19-yard line. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have went back. I should have just kept plowing forward. Lost a couple yards there in that play. Remember, last week, uh, Nicholas Michaels threw an interception on his first play out in the field. So we got to make sure that that don't happen here today, guys. But look at the squad coming out to the field, looking all crispy in the all-white uniforms. Maybe to find Josh Gordon over there. Oh, he breaks this first tackle, but he actually steps out of bounds. So that brings us to the 27-yard line. It's second and two. I haven't been able to find Josh Gordon enough. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I feel like the the guys on our team that you would think would be making all the plays are really not the ones. Like I traded out one of our our starting receivers for uh, Pryor Senior because he's just nice. I'm able to find Josh Gordon again. Maybe this will be a breakout game for Josh Gordon. Who knows? I'm over here saying that I haven't been able to find him. Meanwhile, 
I might start finding him consecutively in this game. Let's see here. He definitely does have a couple speed points on his defender, so we might be finding Josh Gordon more than uh, more than the usual this time around. Oh, and I, I thought I was going to escape the pressure, but I get hit. I get sacked for a loss. That brings us to a second and 15. Falls down at the 36-yard line. Let's see if they'll. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if they can withstand us running the ball at them. Try to go out there with our run game. They're gonna be blitzing. Let's see if I can snap the ball in time. Come on, let's go. Oh. Oh, and I almost, I almost could have shook him up over there with that spin move. But I couldn't make it happen. Now there's a flag in the field. Of course, it's on the offense. Joe Thomas, he, I mean, throughout the preseason, that boy had too many flags. Not a good look. That brings us to a second and 23. We got to come up here in the clutch, guys. Josh Gordon got the, the speed and the height on his coverage. So I'm holding in my left tight end to block for me. They're rushing four guys. Oh, Josh Gordon, let's go. And he steps his little, does a little two-step into the end zone. Josh Gordon is like, no, man, I'm here to stay. You are not trading me. I'm not going anywhere. We're here rocking out with the Cleveland Browns. I'm able to connect with Josh Gordon on that play. Nicholas Michaels with the dance moves. Josh Gordon with the dance moves. Those are strings that you can't pull. Let's go. What a beautiful, beautiful touchdown play. Let's take a quick look at the replay. And just look at this replay, guys. Boom. Catches the ball. He has two defenders in his area. Look, he has the save. He has his cornerback manned up, and then he has the safety dropping back who reads this play. The safety sees the ball coming his way. He moves over. But Josh Gordon has the inside position over both of them. Well, actually, you know what? He has the yeah, he does have the inside position, but by the time the ball hits his hands, he's almost given up the inside position to the cornerback number 20. But he's right in between. He's in that that sweet spot. If I would have threw it a second a second later, that could have been an interception there because as you can see, 20 ended up getting the inside position. He took the bait on that one. And, man, I got the inside position over the safety. Number 24, Josh Gordon catches it. He's already on his little stride to go intercept the ball. And that leaves Josh Gordon open with enough space to run it in for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. What a beautiful play, guys. What an absolute beautiful play. Let's run that back one more time. Bam. Finds his receiver. What a beautiful play from Nicholas Michaels. What a beautiful championship drive there, guys. And Michaels is hit just after he threw it. He said, F that. We don't care about that ish. So let's try not to miss this, <laughs> this point after here, guys. And a point after is good. Let's go. 7-7. Seven to seven. We tie up that scoreboard. That closes out the first quarter. Definitely going to have to play a little bit more strategic here with our defense because, man, uh, the Miami offense literally just trooped right up the field on our defense that first time out. So we're booting the ball back over to their side. Jarvis Landry is going to take a knee, bring it out to the 25-yard line. Ryan Tannehill and the Miami offense is going to be coming back out to the field. He's going to drop back in the zone. He tried to go for a little draw play there, but uh, our defense was able to make a play on the ball. They stopped him for a loss, so that holds them to a second and 14. Ball's down at the 21-yard line, 2 minutes and 28 seconds left in counting. Let's go. Davis is able to make a beautiful play on the ball. Drops the quarterback down for a sack. So that brings us to a third and 21. He did not take the bait on the play action. What a beautiful play there, guys. What an absolutely beautiful play. Found a gap right through the O-line. 
He's able to get to the ball fast enough. I really don't know. Yeah, I definitely say we do got the personnel to man up with, uh, with Miami here, so. And what a dumb decision. They opt to pass, excuse me, to hand off the ball on a third and 21. We dropped them for another loss, which brings that to a fourth and 23. They're going to have to pump the ball, guys. That was just a bad decision. They should have went for it there. Shows they must be very unconfident with their offense. Let's see if Moster can come, come up, make a play here. Let's go. And I'm able to win that tackle battle. Let's go. Moster brings it out to the 35. Definitely a nice run back off the punt. 27-yard return. That's what I like to see. I'm going to see if we can uh, run the ball right at him. I feel like we definitely have a good running game. I just haven't been taking enough you know, advantage of it. He's able to pick up nine yards in that play. That brings us up. That brings us out to the 26-yard line. Let's see if they'll take the bait here for a play-action play. Keep an eye out on Pryor. That boy's been too clutch. He got four inches of height on him. And I got a huge gap up the left side of the field. I'm just going to try to run it in with Nick Mikes. Let's go. Nicholas Michaels is able to punch it in on his feet. Nicholas Michaels with the dance moves. Those are strings that you can't pull. Have to, and I can really dish it out. I want to say, I think that's actually Nicholas Michaels' first rushing touchdown of this regular season. So that is a good look. I'm able to put up another seven points on the board. So we lock up the scoreboard, 14-7. Miami's going to be coming out with 42 seconds left to go on the clock before halftime. Oofed. Jarvis Landry is going to end up taking another knee. Brings it out to the 25-yard line. Let's go. Let's get back on that field, guys. Make sure you guys go get yourself up to date on the series if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Mikey in the corner. That's M-I-K-E-Y-N-T-H-E-C-O-R-N-E-R. So go follow me over there, guys. I'm going to drop back into a zone coverage here. Try to make him think we're going to hit him with a blitz. We're actually dropping back in the zone. He's able to find... He's able to find... His, that has to be his tight end. He's way too big. I want to say he's able to find his tight end. He's able to find someone on his squad with a matching colored jersey. But uh, they only pick up a yard on that one. Oh. And I just completely... Took the bait on that one. I, I thought he was going to cut left. He actually cut right. And he burns my defense again. Brings it out to the 30-yard line with 28 seconds left to go on the clock. Look at this. Look at this. I, I take the bait for the left. See, I, cut, I thought he was going to cut to the left. I don't even know what the hell I was doing there. Watching it on the replay, I lo it looks even worse. It's like, what the hell are you doing, man? So we're going to drop back in man coverage. Double cover this boy over here. I knew he was going to go for him. Oh, and 24 hits him with that wham. Shoves him out of bounds. Puts him on his ass. Let's go. Ball down at the 11-yard line. Miami storming right up through the red zone. We gotta put a stop to this real quick. I'm gonna hit him with a blitz. I'm gonna press the receivers. See if that'll buy us a little bit more time to try to get to the quarterback. And we're able to stop them on that screen play, but there is a flag on the play. I'm not sure which side of the field the flag is on. Holding on the defense. That's that's uh, not a good look, Justin Gilbert. The flag was on our defense. Cornerback Justin Gilbert. Of course, they accepted that. Brings the ball out to the six yard line with 19 seconds left to go till halftime. They're looking to tie the game up right here. Let's see if we can make an interception or a fumble, a forced fumble on this play. Oh, and Williams was right there, but he jumped a split second too early. Miami's able to find his receiver for the touchdown. That brings us to a just about a tie as long as their field goal kicker can put this point up extra. This extra point up, excuse me. And a point after is good, so that ties up the, the scoreboard at 14 to 14 with 14 seconds left to go on the clock. I'm, I'm not going to try to try anything crazy here. If we can't run the ball back, we'll just run the clock out. Not really a big deal. I'm confident here that uh, we're playing good enough today. We can definitely take this win home. Let's see if they'll take the bait on a screenplay. And they blitz me just what I wanted. Oh man. I was gonna just try to run it out, but I think we might be able to burn them on a wheel on a wheel route or like a screen route here. Let's try to go for the wheel. It's so coming back out on the first and ten. Balls down at the thirty. Three seconds left to go till halftime. Gonna send. Come on, man. 
just messed up my play there. Hold on. Oh, I have to let it go. I have to let it go. Oh, no, that's not a good look. That could have been intercepted. Not a good decision on my behalf. I definitely did have some time there in the pocket, but no one in the backfield could get open. So we get the ball coming back from halftime. So that's definitely a good look. Miami boots the ball. Mostert's in the backfield to try to run this back. Maybe to bring it out to about the 25, 26 yard line. Ball's down at the 25. We're going to come out here on a first and 10. Still tied, 14 to 14. Let's see if they take the bait on the play action here. Oh, an 87 definitely climbed the ladder to grab that reception. He just wasn't able to hang on to it. The ball hits his hands and bounces right out. That's going to bring us to a second and ten. I should, probably should have been a little bit more conservative on that one. That one could have been ugly. We'll go out there on a run play to the left side. See if we can make anything happen here, guys. Man, I was going to try to cut back around that block. But I just wasn't able to make it happen. So now we got to come through in the clutch, try to put 11 or more yards in this play right here. Barnage got six inches of height on him. Got to keep, got to keep an eye out on him. Oh, and man, the linebacker got a hand on the play, got a hand on the ball. Excuse me, the D got a hand on it. D got a hand on it. It's 4th and 11. I'm not going to try anything tricky. We're tied up here. So I'm just going to pump the ball, play, sm play some smart football. I still have to get some practice on the kicking, kicking sequence. I'm going to tell you right now, if it comes down to winning a playoff game for a long field goal. I don't know how confident I am in myself to be able to make that happen with that new kicking sequence. That's probably the, the best addition to Madden 17 as well as the most uh, difficult learning you know, curve uh, as far as from last year to this year. Just really not used to that uh, that new kicking sequence yet. So Miami comes back out to the field. Ball's down at the 11-yard line. Of course, they're going to just try to run it. They're only able to pick up three yards in the play. I'm going to drop back in the zone here. Almost on, on somewhat of a defensive trick play. They're going to think I'm blitzing, but I'm actually going to drop, drop my two linebackers back in the zone. Ah! Oh, let's go! Oh! Oh, my God. That would have been a beautiful interception, but he was not able to keep his feet in bounds. Let's take a double look at that, guys. So Ryan Tannehill takes the snap, hits the play action, throws it to his left side. The ball gets bounced in the air. The receiver goes up for it, gets bounced out of his hands. And then my man number 32, Cyrus Jones, almost is able to come through with another interception, but only gets one foot in, the, in bounds. That would have been a beautiful interception on that one, guys. Definitely would have been a beautiful interception. Was not able to make it happen, but still was a great play on the ball. I'm going to play man coverage here. I'm, I actually should probably t try to double cover the, the tight end because he's been burning me with Cameron. Flags on the offense, that's what I'm talking about. We'll definitely take that. I feel a little bit more comfortable dropping back in the zone, so I'm going to hit that same exact kind of trick zone play that I was doing last time around. Let's go. And I'm able to get a hand on it. Let's go. Don't try to throw it at me, bro. We hold them to a 4th and 12 ball down to 9. They have to punt the ball. There's no other option. They must punt the ball. So let's go. Let's see if I can make a play here on this on this run back. I'm able to bring it out to the 47-yard line. Nice little run back on the return. Look at Michaels all, all up close and personal. I definitely think we're, we're, you know, we're the better team offensively. We're the better team defensively. We just kind of get, you know, we kind of get a, we got, we got to get a flow going here. That's all. And if I would have been able to break off that tackle, I would have been gone. I would have been off. I would have been out like a light. Hey, hey, hey. 
Ah. And they drop me short of the first down. They hold me to a, a third and two. 11 seconds left to go on the clock till fourth quarter. Ball's down at the 40-yard line. Let's see if they'll take the bait on a play action here. I just got to... I got to risk it. And Michaels is able to make a play on his feet. Picks up the first down and more. I just run out of bounds. I don't want to risk any injuries or fumbles. One thing other than some costly or some bad decision interceptions that we had a hard time with in college was the fumbles. Nicholas Michaels used to run that thing in college like he was Mike Vick and he's just not the uh, he's not the you know he's not this most thickest built guy over here so he tend to fumble it every once in a while and man that could be costly when it comes at certain times of the game. Let's go. I'm able to connect with Mosa on the play. Let's go. Touchdown. Nicholas Michaels with the dance move. Most dirt with the dance move. Those are strings that you can't pull. And I'm able to put six more points on that board in the fourth quarter. Let's go. Got to close this out with some clutchness. Hit him in the clutch. And like I told you guys to begin the season, I'm just going to try to go for exploits. I'm not going to go into each game with a specific game plan that I'm going to stick to. Whatever I figure out that's working, I'm going to do that and that and that and that again. He put his linebacker to man up on, um, uh, you know, to man up in man coverage with my my 92 speed, 93 speed, you know, rated running back. I'm gonna burn you every single time on that wheel route. Best believe it. Leave a comment, leave a like on the video just for that play right there, guys. So Miami's getting the ball back. Jarvis Landry is definitely a talented player. Oh. Oh my God, and I'm over here talking all this smack and Jarvis Landry's gonna run it back for a fucking six points. OMG, that is the first run back of the season. As far as, I mean, there may have been some other run backs in, throughout the rest of the league, but that is the first run back that we have seen in this franchise mode. Definitely gotta give credit where it's due. Uh, our defense, our special teams defense there definitely just broke down on the play. I don't know what happened, but Jarvis Landry as I'm sitting there complimenting him, is, is breaking and burning our defense. Not a good look in the play, guys. So they're able to tie that up pretty quick. And Davis, oh my God, Davis looked pretty aggressive on that one. He almost could, looked like he, he almost could have been very close to blocking that kick. That would have been a beautiful play if so. He wasn't able to quite block it, but he was pretty close. Find a nice little gap up the middle of the O-line. So now we're coming back out. Oh. And I bring the ball out to the 24-yard line. That seems right around the average run out for Mostert as far as on a kickoff. He seems to be bringing it out to the 24 or 25 often, so maybe we might try to go with, uh, you know, with someone else as far as the, you know, the kickoffs go. See if we can get a little bit more production out of our other running backs or maybe one of our defensive players that might be a little bit more slick. Oh, Gordon, Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon, let's go. And there is a flag down on the play. Please don't be on our side of the ball. What the hell? Oh, my God. Don't be Joe Thomas. How did I know? How did I know? Joe Thomas, you ruined shit so many times for us throughout this preseason. Don't start, don't start bringing that crap into the regu regular season. Please do not. I beg you. So ball's down at the 14-yard line because of Joe Thomas after a beautiful reception by Josh Gordon. Two minutes and 32 seconds left to go on the clock. Now we got to come through in the clutch. Where's Josh Gordon at? Oh. Pryor is able to bring in the reception for a few yards in that play. Let's see if I can burn him again with the real route. That brings us to the two-minute warning, guys. I gotta come through. I gotta come up in the clutch here again. I'm, I'm at least glad, especially for the YouTube series, that all all three of these games so far has been very exciting. Like come down to the last few moment type of games. Let's go. Because I mean that's exciting. That's entertaining. That's what you want to see. You don't want to watch boring games. So definitely glad that these have been exciting games up until this point. Let's hope that we can keep that. That streak going. Oh my God. Damn it, man. We're not able to come through there. Our defense is going to have to step up and make a play. 
Because I'm going to have to punt the ball. I don't want to chance it with a 4th and 10 so close to their end zone. I really don't want to chance it. So I really hope our defense is going to be able to come up and make a play here, guys. Force fumble, force fumble. Let's go, force fumble. So they bring it out to the 38-yard line. I'm assuming they're going to try to run the clock out. So I'm going to go out there, blitz heavy, and just hope that they don't pass on me. And they, do, and they do try to pass on me. Luckily, Cyrus Jones is able to bat the ball out of the air. I don't know why they're trying to pass on me in these kind of situations here. Oh, my God, no. Oh, man. What a bad hit there, guys. I'm going to drop back in the zone and see if that might uh, help me out at all with anything here. Damn it. And they're really just cutting up my defense. I, really, I, really need, I really need something to come out. I need something to happen here, guys. I don't know why. But we're tied up on the clock, and they're just, they're just passing on me. I expected them to go run heavy, but they're just throwing the ball right at me. I'm going to try to man up with them. Oh, not another hole up the middle. And I'm forced to call my first time out there with literally just over a minute to go in the game. And they're close enough to put up a field goal. Damn it. We gotta come to the clutch here, guys. Oh my god. Damn it. And Miami is able to score in the last minute of the game and take the lead. I was, I was I, We cannot take our first L to Miami. There's no way in hell we're gonna take our first L to Miami. It cannot be to Miami. You know, if it's gonna be a good team like Green Bay or Pittsburgh or New England, you know, or, or Seattle, that's one thing. But we are not gonna take our first L to Miami. We cannot have this happen here, guys. So we're gonna have to return fire immediately. Oh my god. Cannot make anything happen here on the special teams. We literally have 59 seconds left. And two timeouts to make something happen here, guys. I'm going to try to rock out in the same fashion that we ended last week's game. We may, we may need to take this into OT. And I bring it out to the 29-yard line. couple extra yards in the play definitely won't hurt us um, let's see if they'll take the bait here on the screen guys it's gonna come down to this play to these to these next couple of plays right here guys this is what it's about Please. Oh my God. And Nicholas Michaels throws an interception at the worst, absolute worst possible time of the game in the last minute when we're down by a score. Oh my God. I try to force it to Pryor because I know he's come, he's came through in the in, a, in these previous type of situations. Byron Maxwell is able to make a play on the on the ball and come through with an interception. Oh, man, that is not a good look for us, guys. Damn it, that hurts, man. They really hit me where it hurts on that one. I can't believe we're finna take our first L to Miami. I'm not throwing in the towel yet. But it's gonna be pretty hard with only two timeouts to come back here unless our defense can really come through and make a championship play here. Ah, we're able to stop them. He's not able to pick up much yards in the play. But we need a fumble. Or we, need, we need a turnover, guys. We desperately need a turnover here. We desperately need a turnover. Ah, oh, man. And I'm forced to call my last time out, guys. I'm, I'm scared that they're going to bring me out now. Ah, oh, man. They're going to just need a damn ball, and I have no say over the matter, guys. Oh, this one really hurts, guys. We, we definitely were the better team here today. This one really hurts. Just uh, that one interception too late in the game came down to. I'm going to see if I can take a flag here, no? They're not going to let me take a flag. That's what it is, guys. We didn't took our first L, so now we're going to be 2-1. I can't believe our first L came against the Miami Dolphins out of all these teams. 
just not a good look, guys. Uh, definitely was a good performance other than that last minute interception. We're definitely going to have to work on cleaning that up. Uh, definitely have to get more reps in with Pryor before we just try to force it to him. That was just a bad decision. Um, but we'll definitely take, a, you know, we'll definitely take those situations, uh, you know, into account next week against the Redskins. Make sure you guys be there, be square. Tune back in for next week's episode. Make sure you guys are tuning back in every Monday as well for the college series of Nicholas Michaels. Uh, thank you guys so much for rocking out with me to this point. Leave a comment, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Go click around on my channel. Go find something to keep yourself entertained with for a couple hours. I got a bunch of sports, bunch of video game stuff on the channel for you guys. So that's what it is. You guys know my closing to this ish. Hope to see you guys next week. You guys take care. Till next time. I'm Mikey. I'm in the corner.